right guys so there's kind of this parking pad area right here not really much for street parking coming in it immediately splits off living room entry and master so we've got a front closet here Standard size closet. Master shower. Again, just go back through there. This is a little nook over here. I've actually had one of these in the past where I was able to just find a dresser that would fit in there. It's got nice tall ceilings. Got water heater. So of course this is new construction. It's got vaulted ceilings and, or newer, um, and just a modern kind of feel to it. Washer and dryer closet here. This is your handler from 2019. This closet is locked, so maybe it's just staging supplies or something like that, but I'm sure it's a linen closet. Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom with the corner shower in there. So I'll take you through each. View out back. Right. Got your closet here. It's a little bit deeper. A more standard sized closet. It's not, you know, a huge room, but it's a decent amount of space. And then you've got the guest bath here. So it's one sink, but a nice big countertop space. And then you've got the walk in shower here. So there's not a tub. Just something to keep in mind. Bar area, pantry. tiny. Definitely no room for a pool. Um, but you are closer to the beach out here too. And it's a nice slab. So with the tall ceilings in here, it just feels more open and bigger, even though realistically the kitchen's kind of the size of that other Gulfport house that you guys rolled out. Um, it's 
and the living room is, you know, it's not huge. It's certainly not tiny. Uh, so anyways, all right, that's this one.